Hey everyone, welcome to Hype. Hype will, uh, will be the animation program we'll use for this semester, possibly touching a little bit on uh, Final Cut Pro, but we'll see where we get. Hype is a fairly straightforward uh, animating program in that um, the elements are easy to understand, the movements are fairly straightforward, and the technique for getting them to animate is uh, is pretty uh, pretty easy. I've chosen this because it writes HTML5 and JavaScript in the background and so the files you create can be immediately placed into a website or a phone tablet app and or a uh, an ebook for example. So there, there are specific applications for the files that you output. Um, what you see right now could be typical of what you see when you open a new file in, in Hype. We have in the middle the stage and we have on the left scenes. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the timeline down below and Typical navigating cursors for an animation, something you could probably see if you opened up a movie in uh, YouTube. On the right hand side, we have two collections of information and controls. One is the inspector, which controls both the document itself and attributes of elements on the stage and attributes of interactivity between your animation and a user and you have resources and we'll go through how some of these work in a minute when we look at a live animation already produced this animation was produced by katie holmquist two years ago and let's use the toggles here just so we can get a glimpse at what this is and then we'll go through all the parts kind of tasty animation not very long it's if we look down below i'll open up i'll open up the uh timeline just a little bit so we can see 13 seconds from 1 to 13 seconds the movements that are happening right now as i drag the playhead back and forth this is called scrubbing physically moving through the animation and if i move it in a little bit so we can select something here that b one of the elements is in the timeline the stacking order looks a lot and and functions a lot like the stacking orders in uh, the other applications so um, InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop. All the, all the layers can be turned on, turned off. You can group the layers into folders. You can lock them. In each element's timeline lives the animation indicated by the blue stripes. The animations all have characteristics that appear down in the properties. Those properties are added every time you change the timeline with one of the controls in the inspector. There's only one scene for this animation. I could add more, or she could have added more. Scenes are a little bit like pages in a PowerPoint presentation. In Hype, every scene can contain its own elements and its own animations. And you can use various ways to navigate between scenes. They can be added, they can be deleted, they can be rearranged by 
pressing the space bar, I get that hand and I can navigate around the screen. By pressing the space bar, I can shift back and forth within the timeline. We're using really small screens and any way that you can make it easier to navigate and see what's happening, the better. Up on the top, I can toggle the inspector on and off. I can look at the resources. Every element that's placed into the program is all automatically placed into the resource folder. Everything should be named. In this instance, the knob Katie could have named them. Click on them and, then, and name them. Uh, everything, just like in your, your layer stack in the Illustrator, all of the layers, all of the elements should be named as well. Once you're satisfied with the animation, you want to preview it. We preview, the, we preview the animation in browsers, and I have two browsers loaded on my system. Let's look at Safari first. Really nice. What was that? There's sounds too. Surprise. Really, really nice. Comfortable bounces on these pieces. And you have complete control over how they react. <clears throat> Excuse me, how they bounce. Let's look at this in uh, one of the other. Okay, let's look at it in Google. Hold on a second. Let's bring this back. There we go. I'll refresh this. A little bit bigger. <clears throat> this is an indication. Wait a sec. Let's hear the sound. There we go. That's one indication that <clears throat> all of these, all of your animations, because they are HTML, they won't work with every browser. And in the very beginning in the document setup, you can see at the bottom that there are, there are lists of browsers and versions that the program is compatible with, but there will always be warning signs either in the animations or to, uh, attached to the elements that will tell you that there's some problem or there will be potential problem with, uh, with your preview or the file output. Introduction to height. Uh, I'll get into the inspector, I'll get into how to make elements move in uh, the next couple of uh, videos. This is your first interface, this is your first introduction stage. Elements that are in the timeline. Animations on the timeline and their movement characteristics are indicated in, in the properties. Scenes that can be added, rearranged, or deleted. Controls under the ins <clears throat> inspector for all of the elements and the, the file itself. And resources. All of the elements that you placed into the program appear there and they can be moved around at any time. Your introduction type. I'm really hoping you'll get into this. It's a whole lot of fun. Let's, uh, let's close this one and start looking at how to make, make things happen.